Hi, George here. And today I wanted to take a look at the new Photoshop Elements 2024 color match effect. And you find this down here at the effects button right down there or up at the window menu and effects right here or the F2 key. And that's right hand side. And there are three options now in this effects, the artistic, which is that, the classic with all this stuff in it. And of course the new color match right here. And the way this works is you choose one of these sample images, it then applies the coloration from that image over onto your photo. Let's take a look at that real fast. Here's a sunset color. Not too bad. Here's a black and white. Here's a yellow effect. Once you've done that, at the bottom down here, you can adjust the saturation in there. And you can adjust the hue. So you can actually shift your colors a little bit if you want to, like that. And you can also adjust the brightness. So you have some control in here to make this exactly the way you want. I'm just going to reset these all to zeros in here. There we go. And that's kind of fun. You can go through and just look at these, see what it does, see if you get any interesting effects. There's also a reset button right here to remove that. Now that's one way, kind of a fun thing to do sometimes maybe. And before we go into my favorite way to use this new tool, and it is a great way to use this, I wanted to just quickly show you my new HDG Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements. Let me bring that up right now. Here we go. This is a great tool for learning how to use Photoshop Elements. There's a couple things in here. First off, over the next few months, I'll be filling up the step-by-step -step guides. This is just step-by-step -step instructions for all of my videos I did on YouTube. But the main thing right now is the PSE Coach right here. Here's the full name, Photo Coach for Adobe Photoshop Elements. And this is a wonderful tool for working along with video editing. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions and lists for everything inside of Photoshop Elements. Just type in what you want up here. For instance, they'll type in the color match, which we're talking about right now. I do color, color match. There we go. Open that up. And here is a step-by-step -step list on how to use that color match right there. So great tool, very easy to use. And I'll put a link on where you can get this in the description. Okay, let's go back to the project. There is a more useful way to use this tool, and that's by importing your own photograph. And for that, I'll take this image here, and let's apply some coloration onto this image. Over here to our Layers menu, as I always do, let's make a duplicate layer. Choose OK. On the duplicate layer, let's go up to Layer, come down to Adjustment Layer, and we'll add in a Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer. Choose OK. And then click on Colorize, and I'll just add a sepia tone effect on this, kind of like that, and make it a lot brighter in here. Just kind of a nice old fashioned looking sepia tone. Real easy, and I could do this for all my images down here if I wanted to, not a big deal. But let's just say I did a lot more than just this and did more than just this one coloration. So I did a lot of adjustments in here. Close that down. I'm going to save this out as a new image, file and save as. Put it back in my same working location and I'll save this out as a JPEG. And let's just call this one, I'll leave it at the same name and I'll just add sepia after the end here. So I know what it is, choose save, and there we go. So I've now saved this out as a new file. Let's now go to one of our other images over here. Here we go, and go back to that color match tool, and then come down to import photo, and we'll choose that sepia tone photo that we did right there with our adjustments. Choose open, and there we go. It has now colorized this to match that other photo. And that's the real power of this, is that you can take a series of pictures in the same location, same day, colorize one of them to get what you want, and then quickly apply those settings to your other images very fast just using this tool. Now you still want to come back in and do some hue saturation, maybe maybe some levels adjustments on a per picture basis because each picture is different. But this will get you real close. So there are real close matches. Let's take a look at this again. Here's another picture. Apply the coloration. Another picture. Apply that coloration. So you see how fast you can go through and do this on all of your images so they all have the same basic coloration starting point. Just do a couple more here, get my whole series like that. I actually did 10 of those. And then once you've done that, you can come back in and again, like I said, probably check my levels adjustments on every single one of my images just so that everything looks really good. And this control will need to be done on a per image basis because it will be different for each one of your images. Just a little bit of an adjustment in there and that's all set to go. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and take a look at my new HDG Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements. It's a great tool to have 
when you're learning how to use Photoshop Elements and also to use along with anybody's video training because you can then go in and look for more detail, more information on anything which they're talking about in the video, including all of my videos and even my video courses. So I'll put that link in the description as well. And I'll see you next time.